they've made really good uh, Wayback Burgers has got a burger that's almost too good uh, to believe. We're talking about the Impossible Melt. It is their contribution to the big thing these days, uh, the meatless option. You can get it, obviously, at Wayback Burgers. Joining us to talk about it, the lady on my left, your right, would be Lauren Simpson. Uh, Jay Morawski is uh, with us as well. Nice to have you both here. Hey, thanks, for happy about, to be here. about time. Listen, you guys started in Delaware, but you made your headquarters in Cheshire. Uh, you've been growing like a weed. We were talking during the commercial. I remember 10 years ago, you had maybe 10 to a dozen stores. What do you got now? We're up to 166 across Man. the globe. We got uh, <laughs> a Connecticut business, done good, and still based in Cheshire. Yes, sir. We mm -hmm. love that. Nice to yeah. have you here. Uh, when you heard about, obviously, uh, this impossible uh, meat craze the plant-based burger craze uh, came alive. What did the uh, the uh, research and development say over at Wayback? We said, let's get on it and let's really grow with the the meatless options. Uh huh. And all right, so we've already we've got one already cooking here, but but I'm going to put Lauren to the test because you're going to tell me <laughs> what's in. The, it looks like a burger, Lauren, but it's and it not. It tastes like one too. Yeah. Um, so with the Impossible Burger, the meat. Um, helps to stand out with the soy and uh, potato mm -hmm. protein. There's right. some coconut oil, sunflower oil in there as well. Patty down, it's um, okay. Go ahead, <laughs> grab it. Okay. You're, you're amongst friends. Put another one on there, see? We don't care. Um, but what helps to stand out is the heme. So heme is normally found in beef burgers. Mm -hmm. It's an iron-rich molecule. Right. Um, but Impossible Foods was able to get that derived from a root from a soy plant. Okay. Um, and, it, and the idea is it tastes just like it a hamburger. It tastes like it. It sizzles like it. Yeah, it sure um, does. Texture is very similar to it as well. We're going to get a close that in a second. I'm going to put you on the spot here, and I, and I don't want to give away company <laughs> secrets here, but I, I really have always been curious about this. So you guys make tons and tons and tons of burgers every day. We have a couple of them in front. We'll go to that in a second. But did you have to do anything to the kitchens to see, to separate uh, cooking this from the, the meat options for folks who are coming in saying, I don't want any meat? Well, we will clean the grill off. That right. Way. Well, that's there, good. There, yeah. That, I, there's I highly no, recommend that. Yeah. <laughs> that way there's no... Um, but is there a separation? Do you have to do anything like that? I mean, we cook them in different sections on okay. the grill. So we cook the burgers on one section, the, the hot dogs on another section, right. chicken on another, and then but this meatless. But in terms of the meatless as well. Okay. Absolutely. And you said something that I found fascinating. The core audience mm -hmm. for the folks coming in getting the meatless burgers, the Impossible yep. Burger, are it's, not vegetarians, they're not vegans. Yep, that's correct. So it's actually meat lovers. Um, so people are coming in to try out this product. It's just a unique product, um, and this uh -huh. is kind of where the industry is headed. Right. Um, so 90% of those consumers are people that enjoy meat. You're, stand, <laughs> you're standing around. Make, all right, make all right. the day burger, finish, all right? finish this. Just here for eye candy today, apparently. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can get this at every and each uh, one of the uh, Wayback Burgers across the land now? Yes. Yep. How many different kinds of uh, Impossible Burgers do you have? So we well, have the Impossible Melt. So this is the one that Jay's putting together right now. Okay. Um, so this has the spicy garlic aioli sauce. Okay. Um, that is with Impossible Burger, mm -hmm. Swiss cheese, and right. then it has the sauteed onions. Okay. And then he's going to be topping it off with our toasted inverted bun. Okay. Um, you can get this Why burger. Why invert the bun? Because <laughs> this Something makes different. it better. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Something different. Careful. Got it, got it. Yeah. it is hot. Yes. yes. So, and I don't want to, God forbid I get the... The toothpick in my mouth, then we we'll really have a problem. <laughs> but guests are available to get this, um, the Impossible Burger, on any of our burgers that they would like. I've had a few of these. And you can't taste the difference. I no. mean, it really is nope. good stuff. And it's, and I'm, I'm going to assume it's a high high quality, the, the soy that you're using as yeah. well. So yep. <laughs> excellent stuff. Show off quickly what else you got in case you want your meat options. You got those as well. So we have our crispy chicken sandwich with our house made chips Which there. Which would you like? It's hand breaded I'm, I'm chicken in the <laughs> We have um, some French fries with our double bacon burger, which is one of our top sellers. We have our cheesy burger, which is another top selling item within our restaurant with our beer battered onion rings, as well as our tater tots and our Wayback Classic. And you 